Let's have a look at the derivative of the cotangent of x. Now the cotangent is defined as the reciprocal of the tangent. And the tangent has a quotient identity of the sine over the cosine. So it follows then that the cotangent being the reciprocal of that would be the quotient of the cosine over the sine. And since we have a quotient here, then it follows that the quotient rule of differentiation would apply. And the quotient rule is, we keep V multiplied by the derivative of U minus, we keep U by the derivative of V divided by V squared. So now we let U equals the cosine of X and V equal the sine of X. And thus, the derivative of the cotangent of x is equal to the sine of x by the derivative of the cosine of x, which is negative sine of x, minus the cosine of x by the derivative of the sine of x, which is cosine of x, all over sine of x squared. Okay, let's clean up the numerator a little bit. So we have negative sine by sine is sine squared of x minus cosine by cosine is cosine squared of x divided by sine squared of x. And now we have a negative that's common between the sine squared of x and the cosine squared of x. So we can take that out. We can factorize that out and turn the negative inside into a plus. And by the Pythagorean identity, the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x, well that's equal to 1, so we have negative 1 over the sine squared of x. And we can rewrite that as negative outside of 1 divided by sine of x all squared, since 1 squared is equal to 1. And here we have another reciprocal identity in that cosecant of x is equal to 1 over the sine of x. And cosecant is often abbreviated to CSC. So finally, the derivative of the cotangent of x is equal to negative of the cosecant of x all squared. And we can rewrite that as negative of CSC squared of x. Okay, so that's that one. If you have found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and please share it on your social networks. And if you can, I would really appreciate a small donation through my PayPal, which is linked in the description below. Any small tip would give me the resources to be able to produce better videos in the future for math students of the world. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.